channel uh, for 2017, the comic. Uh, this is a, a personal project I started on, uh, started this year. Um, if uh, you're watching this and uh, you want to decide you want to support, kind of be a part of um, its development, um, please feel free to follow. Uh, join our Discord server, and if you feel the need, Patreon as well. But uh, Twitter and Discord, Twitter, um, Twitch follows and Discord um, will work best, I would say. And it's the cheapest route to go. So um, this week I've been working on a panel. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it when I actually start doing the comics. Um, this one is called uh, Fleeting Thoughts. So, pen one guy's like, hey man, you ever have those weird fleeting thoughts where you're just killed in random situations, you know, where there's no possibility of happening? Obviously the guy does, because he's already thinking about it. Um, I still have to rearrange these thought bubbles, and I'll, I'll mention why in a bit. Um, obviously he's thinking that, though. Panel 1, he's getting his head ripped off by some random demon. You know, second panel guy is um, running from a tree that's fallen on him. And then finally, the third one is he gets cut in half by a carnivorous Pac-Man. So, these two I obviously need to switch around because the whole concept is, is it starts off kind of absurd, but then it ends very absurd. Uh, this originally was panel one. And I'm like, well, that just kind of spoils it from the get-go. So, really, panel one needs to be the tree falling in the forest because that's that, that can happen uh, panel 2 getting his head ripped off by a demon no but I mean hey you never know um, and the third one is just really ridiculous a video game icon with sharp teeth cutting people in half goes from kinda realistic to no way that's realistic And I'm actually still debating that these last two panels, potentially three panels, um, before I call it, before I'm done with this. So this panel um, is now kind of like a standalone, you know, wake up. Um, wake up, snap out of it. Now it's originally going to happen on this panel, but... It needed its own panel.
can copy and paste. I thought I'll do that.
and sold on this hairstyle. There's something I'm just, it's not. His, his reaction and still the face in this still throw me off. But I'm going to save that for later. in his own group. There we are. Guy on right, guy on left. There we go. everything else down. Panel four and panel three. We're done with you for now. Need to fine tune it, but I want to actually get this completed. Um, so in this panel, this is going to be like the I just kind of been like like what? Um, so, just do a re quick re recap, um, and I should probably make sure my mic is on before. Okay. Um, so this is a comic called Fleeting Thoughts, and it's based off the fact that I sometimes have irrational thoughts. Um, so you got two guys just kind of hanging out. One guy's like, ever have those weird fleeting thoughts where you're just killed in random situations where there's just like no possibility of it happening and the guy's already there I mean some weird demon creature has uh, ripped his ripped his head off panel two is the guy running from uh, a fallen tree and then panel three is the most absurd of them all which is he gets chopped in half by a carnivorous pac-man um, these three thought bubbles and a potential fourth thought bubble, um, it's a, it's a callback to comics I, I used to do back in high school. Um, especially this guy right here. The Carnivorous Pac-Man was in a lot of those, those comics. So that's why I'm just, that's why those are stick figures. And the more I thought about it, the stick figure stuff is so ridiculous I might actually just keep it in the comic on and off um, so that if anyone has a thought bubble or if something's happened from really far away it's animated as a stick figure. I don't know. I'm going back and forth on that. So um, I got off track. Um, fourth panel is a guy just finally saying like, hello, you are essentially ignoring me right now. Um, so in this one, you know, he's, he's finally going to He's going to talk back, and I'm debating on whether he should be just like, um, whether his reaction should be, huh, as if he didn't hear him at all, or if he did hear him, he's just like, no. 
Why do you ask? And then there would be a sixth panel after that, which I'll get to once I'm finished with, with panel five. And I'll do another recap if anyone's still sticking around. So yeah, originally I had him saying, it's like, I'm sorry, what was that? Um, but I'm gonna, I, I wanna try something a little different there. So I'm going to go back to panel two. Let's see. I just want to steal his eyes. Just want to steal his eyeballs. That's all, sir. I don't even know what that is. Oh my god, seriously? back to his standard not not suspicious or not angry expressions Kind of, kind of remorseful. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I should probably also mention this is my first time actually doing a comic on computer with this template I created. So this is this is practice for me too. So. do have another idea that I might another comic idea that I might do next week it's either that or I go back to doing cover images I figure this is at least more interesting than doing stuff for social media covers
to see if I can break this out. This would be nice as its own panel. Because I can tell I'm going to be using it a lot. too huge. Too big of a speech bubble. I'll have to think of like background coloring too. Alright. So, kind of happy with that. It's not perfectly center. Audacity. So, all right. Uh, this might give it away, what my grand finale, the grand finale is.
everything's unlocked. This will be another recurring thing from the comic I did in high school. I'm thinking about how old I am. that large. They were teeny tiny little guys. Yes, these are butterflies which in hindsight look kind of more like cherries actually but it's what I did and these butterflies held baseball bats. Yes, sir. Butterflies with baseball bats. 
this is a poorly drawn baseball but that's how they were drawn back then I might try to be a little bit more creative but like I'd probably want to draw that on pen so yeah probably about right there I think it needs to be needs to be moved over a bit. The other thing is we need point of impact. So we need to actually split this guy. on his own. He's not on his own. I don't know what I did, but I didn't do it right. Okay, yes. Okay, looks like I got it now. that he was hit. Just the standard. Standard bop asterisk. thing I want to do which I'll do in panel five I'm guessing if we combine them oh that would work I like that so let's do that perfect I have no requires. But then if I move him, it leaves a gradient, which makes no sense. That's fine. I'll just probably redraw them.
I don't like it saying revenge because that would imply the guy did something. I want to give some kind of context and the ridiculous notion that there's butterflies that can talk, let alone wield bats and hit people, but maybe revolt? You know, taking their world back? Let's run with that for now. Honestly, I'm just going to draw this out. Definitely going to have to clean it up, though. So on one hand, <clears throat> I wonder if should the bat be even on both sides or should the bat have bumps in it to indicate that it's been used before. At the very least, we can fix the handles or the handle, the bottom piece. terribly long. Yeah, for the time being, let's let's leave it like that. I changed changed my mind. I wanna erase a whole bunch of this. It's a do over. So try if I did something like this. Let's draw them. Let's just draw them like that. Use the pen tool to draw them. Let's say this part will be gray. Yeah. 
size circle. Clearly my layering needs a lot of improvement, because I feel like I'm spending half the stream on this. That's pretty much how it was. Let's okay. Let's also do the
was never just one butterfly. Never just one. No, sir. It's always at least two. I think that's it. I think that might be it for the time being. I'd revisit it down the road, but you know, as potential, definitely can revisit it. And then I, I like how he just immediately, that's, you know what, that's one thing I need to change right now, is, um, part of the joke to me is, it, it scales in absurdity. So, the most realistic one out of all of these is having a tree fall on you. So having a demon creature ripping your head off probably shouldn't be the first one.
So, panel one. Hey man, you ever had those weird fleeting thoughts where you're you're killed in random situations where there's no possibility of it happening? The guy's already there. It's thinking, oh geez, you know, what if a what if a tree fell on me? That stems from my own personal irrational fear. Uh, we have a couple trees on the property, so um, we had a tornado come through about two years ago, which actually took a part of the tree down, one of our trees down. Heavy enough where I couldn't lift it on my own. Um, so ever since then, in the back of my head, it's just like, man, you know, what, what, if, what if one of these trees just, you know, tipped over? Or if one of the, what if one of the large, large branches snapped off? Hence... Panel one. Panel two, it starts to get more, a little bit more ridiculous. Oh, geez, you know, I suppose the demons of hell can come up and, you know, rip my head off. Panel three, guys, obviously getting irritated, and now we've gone pretty much full blown absurdity. Well, what if, you know, what if the Pac-Man character was carnivorous and just instead of eating pellets, he ate people. Panel 3. Panel 4, finally guys fed up. It's like, hello, you know, I'm right here. Panel 5, oh, I'm sorry man, what was that? And then before he can even ask the question again, he's back with absurd, absurd thoughts. Oh, what if, what if butterflies were able to pick up bats and just smash people's heads in so I like it and I think for uh, f first time doing an actual strip um, wasn't bad and from a time perspective worked out because I'm I'm basically when when I actually start doing these Tuesdays Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday is essentially going to be reserved for, like, panel one, panel two, panel three. And then with this ideally being a four-panel strip, then I finish the last one before Sunday, which is when I would publish the comics. So I'm thinking f default four-panel, but obviously in this case, um, I'm going to be you know, we need more than we put more down. I think he kind of thought maybe the no, no mouth. Would be fine, but Six, six panel strip. Perfect. I feel like even that is kind of like he he realizes like I don't know how to explain it
this point, I'm just doing very minor, minor changes. And it being 1040, I'm not going to start a new project. I'll be signing off in about 20 minutes anyways. So the question becomes, what do I do for background? And that's probably something I should give thought to over the weekend. Maybe something I can incorporate in next week's comic. Let's go back to this guy's hair bugs me. I think the reason why is because it's um, 
its hair. And maybe his mouth too. So what I'm gonna try to do is oh geez, with the stroke it might not be possible. Obviously, so obviously the the look I'm going for is more of a shocked, old you know. Oh my goodness, it startled him so much his hair spiked up. that better. thing I'm going to leave it at that. No, I'm not. We'll do
deliberately keeping that in just to kind of give the context that the guy's still daydreaming and when the guy yells. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Let that sit for a few weeks and then come back and visit it after I've done a couple more projects. So, and at 1050, um, this is the best place to call it. Uh, no point in uh, starting something else up 10 minutes before the development stream ends. So, uh, if anyone um, has been watching, or if you're watching on the uh, video archives on YouTube, uh, thank you for watching. This again is the uh, development stream for 2017 the comic which is a webcomic I'm hoping to start in a couple of months. I stream on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays 9.30 to 11 o'clock Eastern Time and uh, three ways you can show support. You can follow me on Twitch, join my Discord channel, and if you very so much are inclined or feel you need to there's also the patreon route but personally discord and twitch um that that that's that's fine so um so on that note i'll uh cut the stream and um hopefully we'll see some of you guys on tuesday